What's up YouTube, King Marnold here, and today I have the third installment of Tutorial Tuesday. Now what I'll be showing you today is what is known as a hopper counter. Now there's quite a few videos on, on YouTube on how to make this, however I have one slight modification that makes it a little better to, or I think uh, much better for it to work and more efficient and I'll just show you how it works here this is the button that moves it down and you would use this when you want to in or uh, signal uh, inputs in a sequential order and have it kind of loop around but only one at a time so as you can see the 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 redstone output which is signaled by these comparators just goes down every time I hit the button and I also have a reset button over here that will move it back to the square one and I'll show you what's going on here. It's real simple. What we have are a bunch of hoppers feeding into each other in a circle. And you see that little square nub on the bottom of the hopper, or coming out of the bottom of the hopper? That's where it will feed the redstone dust that is flowing around in here, which I haven't showed you yet. There's a redstone dust in the hopper, and when the redstone dust goes into a hopper, that will trigger the comparator to output a signal and what happens here is every time I press the button a signal will be sent down to here which will turn these torches off and as you know the hopper will only allow things to move through it if it's unlocked and right now with these torches on that means it's powering the hopper and when the hopper is powered it becomes locked and will not allow things to move through it so what we do is we press this button unlocking the hoppers for just a brief moment which allows the redstone to move down one and yeah that's pretty much how it works the one other thing you need to add a pulse shortener in order for this to function because the length of the pulse from the standard pulse from a button is too long and it will move this down I think two or maybe three hoppers at a time I'm not too sure so we create a pulse shortener, nothing too complicated here. This is how you would make it. You can kind of just look at it. I'm not going to explain what's really going on here. But basically it creates a short little pulse. You want three ticks on the repeater, the repeater going into the redstone end, the redstone going into that torch, and then a torch on the side. And, uh, and this is how we do the reset function over here. This is the exact same thing as this however the redstone dust is always in this front left hopper and this back left hopper and uh, what we do when we hit this reset button is all we're doing is we're just cloning that over into here and I'll give you a look at how the clone command looks these aren't the exact coordinates obviously but the first three coordinates represent the bottom left corner on here so our bottom left corner would be the space that this torch is occupying and the top right would be the next three coordinates would be the space that this hopper is occupying and we would clone that into this area which you just gotta find the block in this case it's this block right here and you'd put those three sets of coordinates in there and the key modification that I've made in my hopper counter is most people have this redstone dust it doesn't have to be redstone dust it can be any item but they'll have it flow through the hopper one at a time and instead of having another redstone dust on the other side they'll let it just go into this end and funnel all the way back down and then come into here now when you do that that creates in this case only about a second delay for the redstone output to get from here to this comparator but when you're making longer chains of this like 20 hoppers it takes a couple of seconds and sometimes you don't want that so that's the key uh, improvision that I've made in this hopper counter but uh, that's pretty much it I was trying to be really thorough with it so that you guys can understand I apologize if this took a little long but hopefully you guys understand the concept and thanks for watching